so. Come on, Frederick. Right here. Fred. Hey, Fred. Fred. Come on, Fred. Fred, here. Come here, buddy. Yep. Welcome to your new hotel, bud. Fred, he, he has no idea what's going on. Oh, no. He's like, Dad. Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another pigeon video. We're out here. We're in the city. We're walking the streets. We got the trailer hooked up, as you can tell. I'm out here yelling. People are playing, watching me, thinking what I'm doing, this maniac out here. But y'all have been requesting more and more pigeon videos. So what we're going to do in this video, uh, like I told you, we're going to start running my traps extra hard. So we're going to check traps. We're going to collect pigeons. And then tomorrow or tonight, whenever, I'm going to show you the pigeon loft. We're going to feed and water the pigeons, the chickens, the ducks. Y'all can check out the babies, all the new eggs. There's a lot. And then the next day, tomorrow it would be, we'll keep running pigeon traps and see how many we catch total. So if these are the videos that y'all want back, good old summertime pigeon videos, y'all have to hit the thumbs up button and let me know down in the comment section. Tell me exactly what you guys want, please. Well, here we are. Let's see if we got anything. Sorry if it's windy, y'all. Not much I can do about it. You, yeah, we're in the money, boys. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So I've left two bait birds in here. That's a bait bird, nothing in his side, but we caught one, two, three. Oh, there goes my hat. No, not off the building. But we caught three new birds. Boy, howdy. That's good. Ha! That's what's up. I'm gonna have to go all the way down to the truck. I forgot to bring bait. No! Well, I'm gonna get this thing back uh, all baited up, all watered up. Man, my hair is going nuts. My hair is getting so long. Y'all have been commenting on the flow lately. Jeez, it's getting long. It's almost like, I'm not wanting to cut it, but I'm just saying it's like getting to the length where you start honestly understanding, you know, when, you're, when your girlfriend or your mom are always complaining, when they're always complaining about their hair in the summer. Yeah. Got her all done up here. I want to show you my tactic here. This is what I usually do. All the bait was gone. I like putting a big pile in the center of the traps. Now remember, this is a side and this is a side. They're both separated. We refill the water. That water dispenser is vital. The last week, it's been uh, upper 90s to hitting triple digits literally every single day. So if you guys trap, uh, keep water in your traps. You have to. Even going a half a day or one day without water in these conditions, on this black rooftop they stand no chance so these waters you can even pick them up like orchlands or tsc just like little chicken waters you can buy them anywhere this trap is good to go what i always do is i i do sprinkle a little bait around the trap it's really windy i don't like putting bait way out here because it just gets swept away with the wind this is the juice it always works let's go on to the next rooftop well here we are we're at the truck stop and uh, I just got a phone with Jordan. I'm like, yo, I will check the pigeon traps today. We just take turns on and off. Hey, climbing up a ladder with no hands. That's easy, let me tell you. But Jordan, this is a new trap that Jordan put out. Got a little shade cover over it. He got two in there. So that means he has trapped one with the bait bird. Oh yeah, I see what he did. Hold Jordan. Good call, buddy, good call put shade covers on everything also uh, just the bait bird not a lot going on here today boy howdy we're probably clearing it out there's still a lot of pigeons in the area but a lot of them are probably getting learned up with what's going on well it's been a long day uh, I've been working on my old house trying to get it ready to sell here getting it on the market getting it listed and the days are just ticking by. I'm literally just wasting time uh, coming up with excuses not to take Fred to the trainer. Uh, I'm not sure if y'all have met Shirley. I think, yeah, you have met him one time, uh, twice actually. The first time was on an old goose hunt this last season. We laid in white. But anyways, he is going to the trainer now, right now, tonight. I just got home. Look, he's just following me. Hi, buddy. I, I'm just putting it off because I haven't wanted to do it. He sleeps beside my bed every night. 
Uh, he's the best dog with the kids, the family, hunting. Oh man, he's been my buddy ever since I got him. He's been by my side in, in this truck everywhere I go. Hi bud, wanna say hi to everybody? Yeah, old Freddy, it's time to go. It's for your own good though, buddy. Yep. It is super windy out here. Let's go tell the family. They're gonna be sad. I've been warning them, but it's time. Daddy. Hello. Hi. Hi, buddy. Old Frederick, he's going to the trainer, Mom. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, there he is. Come here, Fred. Oh. Come here, buddy. Bye, Fred. Bye, we better Fred. say bye. bye oh, I'm gonna miss him. Are you gonna miss him, Bubba? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna he's gonna him. go bye-bye for quite a while. All Are summer. You to the trainer, buddy? Yeah. Mm. Give him big lovings. <laughs> He's a good boy. I sis. miss our tiny cities and ducks. Hey, have you been at cheerleading and gymnastics? You, you look like it. I, 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 we were sitting on our tiny cities and ducks. You were? <laughs> Bubba really doesn't mind the first leaving. And the weird one. Was in the water. It yeah. was, Duke. The no way. Got stuck in the water and it's not doing very good. Uh oh, the chicken may not make it. Oh. Yeah, and I helped it out. You did. Oh, give him big lovings. <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs> he's a good boy. But I he's just going to the trainer, buddy. No, yeah, he's going to the trainer, yeah, isn't he? He's going to the trainer. Is he going to get all trained up? Yeah, he's he going to get all learned up and he's going to go to school. Up. Just like Sissy goes to school, <laughs> and Frederick's gonna go to school. Oh my guy, he's such a good boy. Such, such a, a good, good dog. Boy, yeah. You're Couldn't gonna ask. find a last minute reason to not take Wait, it. Wait, that is a bloody <laughs> rabbit. I've been putting it off, haven't I? Oh, hi. Well, this is the reason why I've been putting it off. Uh -oh. Look at him. Yeah. Who wouldn't want him to be home with you every day? Please he's the best me. dog. Stop I honestly, you know, me. getting Fred when we first got him. I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I didn't know, you know. Good burp, Bodie. I heard that. <sighs> I just didn't know. A lot of people told me that once you have a lab, uh, it'll change you with a lot of other dogs. And it's it's true. Can never go wrong with a good old lab. I'm giving him lovings, bud. Oh. Buddy's right there. The trainer's waiting for Fred. <laughs> I know. The trainer's been waiting for Fred, hasn't he? But this is why we haven't let him go. He's just our good boy, isn't he, Mom? But he oh, went to wait You're sad? Oh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how sad are you? A solid 10, a not solid, 11. I know. I know. This morning I woke up and I'm like, it'll probably be the last morning waking up with you oh, right here. I got home and he came running up here and I was like, Bob. <laughs> Another day goes by when you're like, yeah, tomorrow he's going right, right. Still didn't go. <laughs> Guess that's it, Fred. It's time for you to go, buddy. Pick it on him again like always, bud. There's dog here, though. Give me squeezy McGleezy's, Fred. Oh, big hugs for Mama, Frederick. Big hugs for Mama, Frederick. Big hey. hugs for Mama. <laughs> My he's a good old dog. He's a hunting little dog. He's a good old dog, isn't he? Yeah, he's a hunting dog. He's a good hunting dog. So remember earlier when we were trapping pigeons and I was saying how for the last seven days it's been in the upper 90s if not 100? What's the temperature right now? Like 64 degrees. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, you sweatpants. I've, Dude, been, I bet I've been working dogs in water though. So. Yeah, oh, you've been in water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, Frederick. Make it past all the construction no, stuff. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go. Oh, there it is. That, uh, I don't know where his collar went. It completely it fell off somewhere. I'll go buy another one. <laughs> well, good. We're good. You got puppies in the back and everything I've seen. Puppies. Yep. Two little puppies. I got two puppies. Two. This is Charlie. He's the owner of Sand Hill Retrievers. Yes, Sand Hill Flyaway, Sand Hill Retriever. That was not <laughs> planned. We both live, live in the sand and it's fitting. You're here, Frederick. Are you ready? You ready to get busy, dude? Yeah. Time for He's ready, man. He's ready. All right. Look at that. You can tell it got cold quick. Sucked her, dude. That's crazy. 
introduction to the puffs. Introduction to the puffs, yeah. What do you think, dude? He's like, whoo, I smell a lot of dogs back here. These are the kennels. Good looking setup, Charlie. Good looking setup. Blaze. Oh, look at the puppies. Like I said, we got puppies. These are going to be your neighbors, dude. <laughs> what do you think, bud? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're okay, boy. <laughs> He's a good one too. Oh, look at, oh, you can tell he's a good one. He's a well-mannered little guy. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's a good looking buddy. Little black boy. He is a good looking. Oh, I hear you, dude. You're the wild one. Go on, Frederick. Right here. Fred. Hey, Fred. Fred. Come on, Fred. Fred, here. Come here, buddy. Yep. Welcome to your new hotel, bud. Fred, clean, he, he has no idea what's going on. Oh no, he's like, Dad, are <laughs> you like, seriously leaving me? Oh. Don't worry, buddy, you can come inside tonight. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> he don't even know what's hit him yet. No. <laughs> That's okay. Welcome home, bud. We'll see you later. For a little bit. We'll see you. Yeah, we'll close it in and let him get used to it with me here a little while, yep. and then he'll be good to go. Yeah. Uh, one thing I did want to announce and, and tell you guys is, is a lot of you guys have heard about DT Systems. It's a dog training tools. They make dog training tools, period. Everything you need. They sponsored this entire video series. Here with Charlie. They've done us good. Oh my goodness. You think, so, dude, look at all the new bumpers you got. Yeah, we got all kinds of new bumpers. We got the fly bumpers, the, the wing bumpers, the automatic dt thrower oh so that we can boy. get his attention on the outside so that's on that's on remote and you can put it exactly pretty far away exactly from these are what we're going to work with fred we're going to call our condition fred gotcha. so we got two different kinds two different styles dt does an awesome job with their layouts one-handed layouts so oh yeah we'll we'll get fred all collar conditioned up with these and It'll be a couple videos away from for that. But right. We we're gonna get you know we're gonna get Fred to know us and hang you know he's not working for Bobby right now he's working for me. Right. So. Right. So. It's gonna take probably Charlie said it's gonna take about two weeks Bob until he gets acquainted with acquainted him. with me yep. away from I, me. I don't like to jump in ahead of myself and the dog. I want the dog to get to know me personally. That way we have a connection right. like you have a connection with with him. So I'll get, I'll let him get to know me and we'll go from there and we'll get that connection and we'll start with obedience. Bobby, you know, we all know Fred has a, play, a problem with his braking. So we're very, we're gonna be strictly, you know, we're gonna get that correction in on him with that braking and we'll, we'll make this happen. We're, we're, we're gonna break it. Force fetch is next. Force, force fetch, we are gonna force fetch. He's shops. Tell him what shopping is. Okay, so shopping is when a dog runs to a pile of birds bumpers and picks one up joe drops it goes to another one picks up another one goes to another one so shop shopping in his case he's been he we all know fred's picked up a hundred a hundred birds easily yeah he did over he probably did a thousand he did, I, i'm saying he i mean pigeons he, too no, yeah exactly so pigeons. we're not even counting pigeons i mean we're counting ducks and geese right so i mean you're talking thousands of birds let's say thousands for the first year this dog is i mean he knows how to pick up a bird so he's just getting anxious. He's getting he's getting excited. Yeah, he wants to, he sees the flap. Yeah, he's being a dog. Yep. So we're gonna teach him how to get that bird, get him back to us, go out and get another bird. So we'll get the shopping fixed. Shopping, breaking, those are the two big things that old Frederick needs. But even on obedience, Charlie's gonna freshen him up, yep. gonna get him in shape. I'm excited. Uh, I'm Bobby gonna will be him. here with me too a few nights yeah. a week. So we'll get this all on camera for you guys, man. We'll we'll make it happen. We're, you guys have been asking for a ton of training videos, and I have never uh, labeled myself as a professional trainer. And I didn't want to put videos out there trying to act like I what I was doing, cause cause I would have been <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Dog training, it's an art, and and it takes a lot of time to become professional at it. I mean, honestly. And every, even, every dog is unique. Every dog ha takes a certain unique style, and you have to figure that style out to make that dog happy in what he's doing. Right. I mean, they're, they're not retrieving for us, guys. They're retrieving for them. Right. So we, we just make it happy. Make them happy. Make them happy. Make them happy. But make them learn. Make them learn. 
Make you gotta be work. aggressive work. where it's needed. Yep. Woo, well, Charlie and I, we've just been BSing and just watching old Frederick. The thing is, when he don't see me for a while, he starts barking. He's been in there for about an hour. Hi, hey, buddy. You're okay. Come here, buddy. You're okay. He's like scared, but he's excited. He's around a lot of new buddies. All the puppies. All these puppies. We're going to get a puppy out and play with them, though. Hi, buddy. Hi, little buddy. This one right here, man. He's just a sweetheart. Uh oh, we got old Blaze out. He's ready to go. Sit. Sit. Yeah, no, sit. Sit. Yeah. He's a young dude. All right, big man. <laughs> All right, good boy. <laughs> How good old boy. is old Blaze? Blaze is seven weeks. Seven weeks in hey, retrieving. Look at him. Sit. Yeah. Sit. Blaze. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Old Blaze. But old Charlie, uh, he raises Blaze. puppies, trains puppies, and then he sells them. Yep. So Blaze is six weeks old. He's I actually bought him, but uh, we do we sell them. We start them <laughs> up. Lover. We start them up and we sell them. Uh, it's all you know all about getting them started and we're not professional we're we're amateur so right we do we do uh get them up to where they're about six seven months and then we'll we'll get rid of them so if anybody has any questions or any looking for a puppy or looking for anything let me know I, especially I, I know looking a for a people. started dog yeah started a dogs. started dog started dogs man charlie brought up one big thing he said you know what if, if you're looking for a good hunting dog the smartest thing you can do is buy a started, oh, easy blaze. He's blazing everywhere. Is to buy a started dog at seven months. That way you know that that dog has had a ton of obedience training through him. So you're not doing it by yourself and you're not just relying on the neighbor that had a break, had a, you had know a litter of labs. Yeah, you know what you're getting. You know what you're getting at six months, seven months. You know, right. you know, when you're, when you're buying a puppy, you're, it, it kind of goes you're, you're taking a gamble you're making you're a gamble all, you're always taking a gamble yep when you buy a we, seven month started dog you don't you don't take a gamble anymore where can uh people get a hold of you at uh sandhillretrievers.com yep. uh we got that and then phone number 812-240-3324 hit him up for charlie ask for charlie told him tell him i sent you he sent you <laughs> Well, Frederick, I'm out of here. I'm going home, buddy. I know you do not understand what's going on. It's all right. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. He's just, look. He just wants to play with the other dogs. Yep. That's what he's. That's why he's jealous. That's why he's jealous. Yep. I know, dude. I know. Oh. Well, back home. It's the next day, actually. It's the next morning, and this is the first morning. Uh, in a very long time that I've woke up and haven't had Fred by my side. I know, I, I, I'm getting all sentimental about it. A lot of you can say, hey, it's just a dog, but I'll tell you what, uh, a lot of you told me, Bob, just wait till uh, you grow that bond with Fred. You're going to be sad when he's not around, and sure enough, here we are. We've, we've had Fred for a little over a year now. It's been a year and what, two months? And I have to say that every one of you that told me that I was going to grow a best friend out of it, you all are right, man. Your, your dog, when he's with you every day during the season in your truck, whether he's muddy or he's clean, sleeping beside your bed, uh, sitting beside you in the field, whether you're, you're hunting a pond or a field, you know, uh, a lot of time, a lot of time Fred and I spent together, spend together still every day. Not only on the videos, but here at home, Fred is a huge part of our family, as y'all see on every video. So, enough said. <sighs>
time to suck it up. Uh, the good thing is, is that we can go over and see Fred whenever we want. Uh, the other good thing is, is that we're going to be doing a whole series of videos like we said. Y'all will be there. We'll be over there a lot with Fred. And third, the magnet fishing videos. I'm going to go on those magnet fishing videos. Y'all, y'all have been loving them. Y'all have been loving them. I'm going to go pick up Fred every time we go magnet fishing and take him along with us and then go drop him back off. So if y'all are liking the videos, if you guys have any recommendations, anything, drop a comment down below. Uh, smash that thumbs up button for, for Fred on this one, y'all. But uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, I'm glad y'all are here with me on this journey. It's uh, It feels like I dropped, like I abandoned one of my... It feels like I dropped off, like I abandoned one of my children last night. It, it really hurts. But... Y'all stay safe out there. Y'all subscribe if you haven't. I need y'all. I need y'all out here. Seriously, seriously. Never thought a dog would uh, affect me this much, but sure enough. Again, thank y'all for being here. Until next time. There's no Fred to do the old piece. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl